All right, so I got a couple packages here to show you. Some things I didn't expect to pick up, but they were really good deals. And one of them, I kept waiting for Amazon a price match, and it took days to do it. I didn't even think they would because they took so long to do it. Um, but they finally did, and I immediately snagged it because I really wanted this on 4K, and I wasn't able to get this for a while for many, many reasons. And that is Dr. Strange Love. How I learn to stop worrying and love the bomb. Of course, this is a Kubrick cinematic classic. Um, I, uh, years ago, wanted to get the Criterion. Just never did because I don't buy a lot of Criterions because of the price. I think they're just, they're wonderful packages, but pricing-wise, this is sometimes I was like, eh, hey, no, thank you. But uh, this went down to $10 on Amazon, so I finally grabbed this. I, I also believe, if I'm not mistaken, in the first volume, the Columbia Classic set, this was one of the 4Ks. And uh, I wish that they just put out the rest of that stuff individually because those are some great movies. And them being confined to a set that is now out of print, very valuable to get, and I can't get my hands on anymore because of that, is just ridiculous. So either I hope they reprint that set or put out the rest of the films individually like they did with this. But honestly, if I had to have none of those films at all except for this one, I'd be pretty happy with that. Gotta have a Rick Kubrick movie in the collection. This is a masterpiece. Uh, tons and tons of the special features there. You can see it is all loaded here. I don't even, I haven't seen this 4K, what it looks like, so I'm gonna have to watch that. Though, I've heard some people say it looks as good as the, uh, Criterion does, which Criterion is only Blu-ray, so we'll see how that is, but this is also from Sony, this other 4K, but this one was a little bit more pricey, but I didn't mind it, because it's been on my wish list for a while, and I decided to just bite the bullet and get it, and it's a steel book, a steel book of Groundhog Day, and you can see I'm already trying to rip it open. Um, this came out in, a, uh, in just a standard slipcover edition or whatever, just a standard edition years ago. I, I've been meaning to get it ever since that came out. Never did. Uh, I've only seen this movie a couple times. And it's one of those movies that I kind of wanted to start watching every year on Groundhog Day. And I've just never owned it. And it's just never happened. I've just never turned it on on an actual Groundhog Day. Well, this year I decided I'm going to review it before Groundhog Day this year. So I can finally make that tradition a reality. And this is a great looking steel book. You got Bill Murray's face on the clock. Got the gopher on the back. It's actually a great looking steel book. I believe this is just the original 4K disc. Except I think they added uh, Dolby Atmos or something like that. Which wasn't on the previous release or something like that. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But that's what I remember hearing. And uh, here's the inside artwork all the snow and yeah I, I think this is a great uh, release uh, from Sony and yeah I had to get that um, like I said it's also it's part of a new thing I'm working on my channel where I'm not trying to just talk about the newest movies anymore I do want to still talk about them and that's my main focus of this channel well not this channel sorry my main channel uh, I want to talk about more older movies on my main channel, and this is going to be one of them. Uh, I haven't seen it in years. I've only seen it like once or twice, so this is going to be a great watch, and uh, hopefully I really can go and just appreciate the majesty of Groundhog Day, which is a great movie if you've never seen it. It's obviously a classic, you know, it's kind of the movie... That invented this time loop kind of thing that's super popular to do now but hey everybody loves this movie so including myself so yeah um i you know great releases it's also funny that i got these sony 4ks because this this uh for uh this tuesday i get my 4k copy of the raid which is another 4k steelbook from sony so that's pretty cool i'll be showing that off in another release that i won't spoil but uh we'll talk about those on tuesday but i just want to show these off today 
Got some cool stuff. I mean, with that.